I'm Michaela Strachan here. I've teamed up with Earthwatch Europe's Naturehood to bring you ideas and inspiration for a wild weekend. Now this week, we're going to be talking about something exciting that's happening in the UK right now in ponds like this one, the emergence of frog spawn. Now last year, many of you were inspired to create some sort of pond in your garden. But even if you don't have a pond, or a garden, I bet you'll find a pond in your local park. This is the rather large pond in my local park. And if you look really closely at this time of year, then you may be lucky enough to find frog spawn. Now, frog spawn is pretty cool stuff. It's basically a mass of eggs in a jelly-like substance. And the eggs are laid any time between January and March in the UK. And about two to four weeks after they're laid, little tadpoles will emerge and start swimming about to look for food. Now at this stage, a tadpole looks much more like a fish than a frog. It has fins and gills and it can only survive in the water. So what do tadpoles eat? Well, they eat this stuff. Now there's not a huge amount on this rock, but it's algae, it's that green slimy stuff that you find in your pond. And as they get bigger, then they look for other plants and insects to eat. Now, have you ever wondered why frogs lay such a crazy amount of eggs? Well, as I'm sure you can imagine, those eggs and the tadpoles provide a really tasty meal for so many other creatures, from insects to fish to birds. So the more eggs that are laid, the more chance that some of those eggs will become tadpoles, and then some of those little tadpoles will survive to become adult frogs. Watching a tadpole develop is one of the most fascinating transformations in the natural world. It's called metamorphosis and it takes about 14 weeks. First of all, the little tadpole will sprout legs, back ones first and then front ones. Eventually, it will absorb its tail into its body. Its fins and its gills will also disappear and it will develop lungs so that it can breathe out of the water. And then they start looking much more like mini frogs. In fact, at this stage, they're called froglets, which I think is a really cute name. <laughs> now, if you built a pond last year, you may be lucky enough to already have frog spawn and tadpoles in your pond at home. But if you don't, tempting as it may be, don't move frog spawn from one pond to another as it could introduce diseases, which is obviously not only harmful to the tadpoles, but all the other creatures as well. So you've just got to sit tight and be patient and hope that a frog eventually finds your pond and lays its eggs in its own time. You can, of course, do things to attract frogs to your pond and make your pond and indeed your garden a lot more frog friendly. And if you go onto the Naturehood website, there are lots of ideas, not only about how to create a pond, but also what to plant in your garden for the frogs to enjoy when they're not in the water. Why not do something great for nature this weekend? Why don't you go and see how many frogs you can spot and other amphibians? You can click on the link below and download the common frog spotter guide and get out into your nature space or your local area and get frog spotting. Also, don't forget to go on the Naturehood website. Lots of ideas and information on how to make your wildlife area into a wildlife haven. And of course, subscribe to the Earthwatch Europe channel. Lots of ideas on there as well. Hey Rio, what's a frog's favourite music? Hoppera! What do you say to a hitchhiking frog? Hop in! <laughs> Why do frogs make such good rappers? Because they're so good at hip hop! <laughs> okay, they're quite bad. I think they're quite bad. Even you've got bored. I'll tell you what, I'll leave you with this. Get into nature. It'll make you hoppier! <laughs> Get it? Get it? You know what, Rio? I think I better hop off. Come on, Rio, come on.